Hi everyone, I'm Eric from Midas and thanks for joining me here at Music Group Studios. Today I have a quick tip video on the M32 console. I'm going to show you how to use GEQ on faders. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so when you're adjusting your graphic EQs, uh, usually you would have them inserted on a mix bus. Uh, in this example, I'm going to show you uh, my left and right bus here, which I have an EQ inserted on it. I'm just going to go to my effects button here. All right, so now that I have the graphic EQ on my display screen, you'll notice in the lower left-hand corner, it says GEQ on faders. What does that do? Let me show you. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Now you just saw these faders move. These faders are now the sliders of that graphic EQ that I have up on my screen. So I can actually move this box around and this box will select my frequency regions and now I can pull out individual frequencies with these faders as opposed to doing it on the screen. That'll save me a lot of time. Okay, so let's say you need to, uh, let's say you've made some adjustments and you wanna maybe put one of those sliders back to zero so it's neither cutting or boosting. That's what these mute buttons are here for. So some of them are lit, some of them are not. The ones that are not means uh, you've made adjustments on that frequency slider. So let's go ahead and hit a mute button here and it brings it back to zero. So you now, now you're neither cutting or boosting that frequency. And I'm gonna do it again, and now I'm back to zero. So let me show you again. So I'm gonna make an adjustment here to some frequencies, as you can see them dancing around here. And let me just go ahead and put these all back to normal. It's really easy. All you had to do is that. Now get out of GEQ on faders, now you're back to mixing. It's just that easy on the M32 console. I'm Eric with Midas. Thanks for joining me here at Music Group Studios. For more information, go to MidasConsoles.com and I'll see you next time.